Hello boys and girls. For grammar today, we're going to talk about a couple more special adjectives. Today we're going to talk about the words this and that. All right, so we're going to talk about when you use those words and um, we're going to see some sentences with them. So the word this, you use the word this when you're talking about a person or thing that is close by. The word that you use when you're talking about a person or thing that is far away. So I have a couple sentences to show that. So this tea is too hot to drink. So this tea, it's right here, it's close by, right? It's close by, all right? And then that owl flew into the park. That owl, it's far away. So we use the word that, okay? So let's use blue to underline this and green to underline that. So this tea is too hot to drink. It's right here, it's nearby. That owl flew into the park. It's far away. We can see it still maybe, but it's still farther away. Okay, now we're gonna look at some sentences on the back here, on the back of my board, and we're going to find the words this and that in these sentences, okay? So, here we go. Let's read these together. That ballpark is too far to walk to. All right, that ballpark is too far to walk to. What word do we see that we were just learning about? That, right? The word that, good. So we have that ballpark is too far to walk to. So because we use the word that, we know that the ballpark is far away because we use the word that when we're talking about something that is far away, okay? Then our next sentence is, this crown is mine, said the queen. Ooh, this crown is mine, said the queen. Which word do we find in that sentence? This, this, blue marker, here it is. This crown is mine, said the queen. There we go, so this crown, so it's right here, right? She's probably holding it or it's right next to her, but this crown is mine, said the queen. So it is nearby because we are using the word this. When you use the word that, that means that it is far away, okay? This means close by, that means far away. All right, so you're going to do a grammar worksheet where you are going uh, to do something similar. You're gonna be finding the words this and that um, or putting them in the correct sentences. So I want you, before you do the worksheet, to look at around you, look around you. Find something that you can grab real easily, like my marker. I say this marker is blue, all right? Then look for something else that's farther away or something that maybe isn't even in your house. I could say, oh, that park is down the street. I have a park down the street. So that park is down the street. So I say this marker because it's close by, that park because it is far away. All right, so do that. Look around, find something you can grab right away and say this item and say a sentence about it. Then you can look around or point somewhere that you know something is and say that blank is and then say something about it, okay? So practice that first and then you can work on your worksheet, all right? Good job, boys and girls.